Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here really quick um, for a couple minutes and just share with you um, what I came across reading today and what I feel are three key indicators of spiritual maturity. Okay, um, so Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 11 and 12 um, some very important things to do and he's writing to the church when he says this and he says to seek to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business, and to work with your own hands as I've commanded you. And he goes on to say so that you won't be lacking in anything to the outsiders. So the three key indicators, he says, seek to lead a quiet life, mind your own business, and work with your own hands. So what does that mean okay what it means right now for us as a body is that just because there's so much we want to say and so much we want to respond to doesn't mean we have to doesn't mean we should okay so is it my job to address everything somebody says that is wrong, especially when it comes to the Bible or when it comes to um, things of the kingdom or living out our Christian walk. Yes, there's so many things, like I said, that we see, that we want to say, but especially on social media, there's this great thing that your phone does called scroll. Okay, it's a great time to take inventory and say, do I need to respond to this? Should I respond to this? And follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Yes, there are certain things, there are certain times that we should address issues, that we should speak the truth and love to people. Yes, and accountability is important, but that also comes with the one doing the accountability being in the correct heart posture, and also having a right relationship with the person that they're trying to hold accountable. Those also help too. Sometimes it's not time for me to say something. The Holy Spirit will reveal if and or when you are to speak and what you are supposed to say. Okay, there's no one person that God has elected to be the one person to speak everything, okay? The one person that is the, you know, false prophet police. You know, that is not an anointing. That is not a fruit of the Spirit, and it's not a five-fold ministry gift, okay? We are not the false prophet police. Um, we are not the one person delegated to point out every false doctrine, we are to seek the Lord. We are to seek to lead a quiet life, a Christ-centered life, a kingdom-focused life, a life that is about my Father's business. Mind your own business and to work with your own hands because we all have a part to play in the kingdom and our part is not always to point out to everybody where they're wrong. Even though... They may need a little wisdom. They may need a little guidance. Again, that is where Holy Spirit's direction comes in. And he'll tell you who to go to, when and where, and how to say it. And that person's heart will be ready to receive when you're following the leading of the Holy Spirit. Everything going on is not our business to respond to. Because a lot of times we'll respond immediately in the moment. And we will not be great representatives of Jesus, which is what we're supposed to be, right, as children of God. So that was a heart check for me, a reminder to me today. I wanted to get on here and share that with you, okay? Um, so three keys, three in key indicators of spiritual maturity, okay? Am I seeking to lead a quiet life? Am I minding my own business? And am I working with my own hands? Or, as um, my friend Alex would say, fast, pray, mind your business.
Love you guys. Be blessed.